and how to send this document as a mail to your client immediately. So this is pretty easy to do when you have the correct tool. I will show you how this works. So we will just create a column, make them move. Then we create the column from Google Sheet. We have a way to make it automatic at the end. And all the data is saved here. So it's really easy. Thanks. Hi, uh, ClickUp Slover. Um, I'm doing a video because I really appreciate ClickUp, as you certainly do. And I'd like to show you how it is possible to simply use Google Sheets with ClickUp to generate easily invoices uh, directly in ClickUp. So to do so, uh, what I did on my side is that I created um, a place here on ClickUp where I can have this status. It means to invoice, and here it's invoice to send. So just to show you one client, for instance, uh, this client here, we can see that there are no attachment here, and there are a lot of custom fields here that are fields. Uh, some of them on field, uh, some are, it depends on the different clients. But here we have eight clients, and all of them are in to invoice status, and all of them are several custom fields. So the idea for us is to generate an invoice for each of them, add the invoice here in the task, and then change the status to invoice to send. So I can easily see after that the invoices were generated and I just have now to send the invoices to the client after a quick uh, checkup. So let me show you how this works. I just go here on Safari and here I do have my Google Sheet doc with no data here. I just go here and I click here on exec call API ClickUp. So this API will go through all of my tasks. So my tasks here are my clients. So it just generates all of them. Then as soon as I've got all my clients listed here, I have a second uh, function here on ClickUp that has for aim to get all the custom fields. So here I will launch this feature and you will see that it's only execute for the one that have the to invoice status. So for the others, it will bring nothing here. You see, only to invoice. So it shows the payment date as timestamp and a lot of useful data for us. So you've got absolutely everything, right? So the idea after is based on this invoice model. Here it's already filled with one previous client, but you will see that it will change automatically. Now we will execute the Excel loop into invoice. So the idea is to loop through all the clients that have to invoice status, get the data, pull the data here, generate the invoice, then add the invoice to the task as attachment and move the task here in this status. So you will see it will go a bit fast, but we will check all this together. So I just hit the execute button and here you will see that the invoice will change. You see, all is changing here and here in my back here, the folder 2020 was created, the, the folder of the months is created, and now it's looping, so it's creating one invoice, second invoice, and here it starts moving them from one status to another. It's a bit long to generate all of them, but we can make it to be automatic. Let me just show you that if we go on one client, we can see that the PDF was updated just now. We can just click on it. And you see that we've got the invoice. You can do the style you want. Here is my style, but you can do whatever you want. It's pretty easy. And here, it's just adding them. So after you can make some move if you need for the, the bookkeeping and whatever. So it's pretty easy. Here we have our eight invoices. They were all generated. The script is done. It's written here. Here is the last. So it's cool. And here on ClickUp, if I close this, I've got my eight invoices that are generated here. Let's just go a little bit deeper through my custom fields. So this is not used by my Google Sheet. What is used is the invoice number here. So I can increase it. 
um, start date, end date is used. It always take today and always one year later because I use this based on 12 months. So if I put 24 months, it will take 2030, 23, sorry, here. Um, this is the price excluded taxes. This includes taxes. You know, we can do like formula in ClickUp. So I just use a formula here based on the VAT rate here. Um, I added something interesting is that there is a global discount for one year. So when you add this, uh, thanks to my algorithm, it just take it, it removes it from the price, it adds it on the invoice, and uh, it reset it to zero. So the next time uh, it won't be here. But if you want to do it just for one year, a discount to your client, you can do this. And that's it. And after you can just add some useful data. And then I just use due date here and after you can put the recurring, you can put the yearly. So what I would recommend is to put it like, let's say yearly, uh, this would be the 1st of March. So it's 30 days before one year. So in 11 months, I can ask my client, not create a new task, update status. And it's here I just created a status, which is next period. So I just use it and I save it. So yearly schedule next period status change. So every year I will just check the next period a little bit each week or each month so I know which period is it so I can talk with my client. So now the easiest is to send the mail directly to the client from ClickUp. So it's very easy. You just go here, you click send the mail. Yeah, you can either use a template here. So here there is the template I've got so I can just use it or I can use a specific text because I just created my own text previously for this client because I had specific things to say. Uh, I've added the signature here because you can just add yours by clicking add signature. You can manage them, etc. It's really easy to set up the mailbox on ClickUp. Uh, plus it doesn't uh, change anything in the use of your mailbox you do uh, on your regular mail provider. So you can just use the both side by side. It won't be a problem. So here I just uh, select the suggested email that is the one from the contact. So here I have it. Here I have the title that was already set up thanks to the email template. And what is important to not forget is just to do this. You just do attachment here, exactly as on the task, and you just select this. So you have the attachment, you have all the mail, and you just press send mail. So for the people that are used to it, you are aware that the mails appear here as a comment to the task. And when you'll get an answer from the client, it will appear directly here as a sub-thread to the mail or as a comment. It depends on your settings, but it will appear on the task. And here, if I go on my mailbox, if you want to make your uh, workflow more productive, you can go on ClickUp. And when you add some invoices in the to invoice state here, this will be handled automatically and will be moved to here automatically if you wish. And you won't have to go here on the script. So if you remember, there are three tasks, three, uh, sorry, three functions, the one to call the ClickUp API, the custom fields, and then the loop. Just go here and just add this. And here you just select call ClickUp because it's the first one. Uh, you say by time, you say every day, so daily. You can say between midnight and one o'clock. So you just add this. So you have this one now. Let's add after uh, this one, it would be custom fields add. Uh, you can do it daily also, and you can just do it between one and two. So the idea is to have the first hour to call ClickUp, then to call this one, and then to call the final one, which would be loop to invoice. And that's it. It will just run automatically. You won't have to do anything. And when you open your ClickUp, you will see that this has been moved from one column to another.